Hey, it's David Murphy of Around the Lens. I'm here with uh, Sharon Farmer. We're here at Focus on the Story 2019. Uh, Sharon, you gave a great speech today, a you know, great presentation. Um, tell the audience first a little bit about who you are and kind of your experience and background. Uh, I'm from D.C. Uh, small yet not. We can't vote, so we got issues. So if we could vote like everybody else in the United States, we'd be better. But because we can't, I'm a photographer. So I can shoot everything that says what this town is about, because I'm from here. And when you're from someplace that you love, and it's not treated nicely by everybody that could, then you go, I'm going to take pictures. And because pictures are still worth a thousand words. Now, you, you talked a lot about your great history and you, you know, all the experiences you've had. You've worked in the White House. You've worked under President Clinton. What would you say has been sort of your, your most meaningful um, life experience and work experience? Meeting people I didn't know. Finding out about where they came from and what made them the person that they are. Everybody has something to teach each and every one of us. If you're the mailroom clerk, if you're the dishwasher, if you're the server at the restaurant, I can learn from you because all human beings have a gift of insight and none of our insights are the same. So you've spoken, I'm sure, at numerous occasions and locations uh, in addition to this location here. What do you get out of speaking to, uh, you know, obviously, you know, new up-and-coming photojournalists and experienced photojournalists? What do you get out of speaking about, you know, your experience to organizations like this? Giving back. Somebody had to tell me how to be a better photographer, how to be a better person in my community, how I could share my gifts of being able to take pictures and help the causes and things I believe in. Anything that builds up Washington, D.C., and individuals who have been neglected, I'm for. So you work for the White House, you work for Bill Clinton. What would be something that, you know, we as sort of the general public don't get to see or know about that, you know, you as being someone who the you know, inside and, and being able to photograph all that, get to see and, and know on a daily basis from doing the job of working in the White House for the president? There's always people behind the scenes that you don't know about that makes the machinery move and work. Uh, some of those folk are unsung heroes, and they work longer than eight hours a day. Some people work 12 hours a day because they got to get it right. And facts and figures don't go away. And just because you're tired or sleepy doesn't mean that somebody does not need the information right now. So we're one of the few groups that would stay open way past 5 p.m. because we knew that California was still up. We knew people in Hawaii were still away. And you're in Guam, well, you're a U.S. territory. We have to be still working so you can be in touch. What are you doing now? Where can people find your work? And you know, what kind of work are you doing today? Um, and how do you want to you know, obviously be remembered by, uh, by your obviously a body of work? Wow. you only as good as the last thing you did anyway. Yeah. So, you know, some days, oh, God, what did I take? And you're looking going, oh. And you want to go back the next day and do a better job. Uh, I feed off of the energy of the folks around me and, and whatever it is they're trying to get accomplished. The next step is, can I show the view of how they feel about it? And when I do that, after that, I'm putting my own spin on it because none of us grew up the same. Our eyeballs don't see the same. Our gear is different. Uh, the decisive moment, as they said, when did click that shutter? We all do it differently. And that's the joy of the camaraderie of the image making community. And even more so now that everybody has an iPhone. I just say make sure the iPhone lens is clean before you start taking pictures. So you go, where that cloudy picture come from? Exactly. Is there a website or a place where we can see more of your work or your current work? Only if you Google me up and okay. say images and then you see stuff. My website, I'm a little lazy about getting it done still. That stuff takes time. And um, I'm always moving and grooving, so it's kind of hard to make me sit in one place going, I got to do what, a website? Let me see if I can find somebody to help me. And all that's a process. Yeah. And um, because I'm always editing my work, I do it all from the time I shoot it to the time I turn it into my client. Thank heavens for Dropbox is all I can say. Yeah. But your work has to get out. So regardless, you got to stay up, get it done, turn it in on time, so your client will hire you again. They're not going to forget the experience they had with you, be it good or bad. So go to Google.com. That's her website, Google.com. <laughs> On the images. That's right. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? I would just like to say I'm so glad for all creativity because so many people are just 
potatoes on the couch. And if you get out, enjoy your neighborhood, enjoy your families and your community, you have much more better chances of taking great dynamite photos. Don't let grass grow under your feet. And the other deal is join meetup groups. Go out with some people. Everybody go shoot. And then talk about each other's work so everybody gets better. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Sharon. I really appreciate your time. Come out to focus on the photo uh, 2020. Maybe she'll be back and she'll talk about uh, all our new stuff that she's working on. Thank I you like so this much. Stuff. Thank you so much. And thank you for asking. Yes, absolutely. Oh, no problem. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Thank you, darling. All right. Well, this has been Dave Murphy for the Lens. We're out.